Hello all. So we're over here in Studio 7 today at the end of another heat wave. I'll show you some pictures of what this heat wave did to the plants. And uh, when I'm out riding or hiking, I notice the smell of death almost everywhere. The smell of dead animals, and, uh, especially by the ocean because all the dead life coming in and washing up on the, uh, the ocean. But that's not what we're here to talk about today here at Studio 7. What I wanted to talk about was why we keep putting in Democrats and Republicans in the U.S. You know, politically, that's so dangerous because of what these people are doing. For example, so the U.S. is backing the Syrian rebels who are, I guess, fighting Syria. And then the weird thing is they're also backing the other side. This is what I mean. The Syrian rebels gave 25% of the equipment that the U.S. gave them to Al-Qaeda and ISIS. So now ISIS, that's where ISIS is getting a lot of their pickup trucks and their ammunition and their rifles and their uh, air to missile, no, from ground to air missiles. This was revealed to us on Friday according to Central Command. Central Command, that's a U.S. thing. Have we ever heard of Central Command before? <laughs> So apparently we've already spent $500 million on training the Syrian rebels. According to the U.S. Central Command, we only have two to three advisors in Syria at this time. Uh-huh, right. So you remember ex-General Petraeus. He was going to run for the U.S. presidency last time, but never did or never got anywhere. Well, he's saying, now this is one of our high-end generals that we should ally ourselves with Al-Qaeda. Do you think the U.S. should be aligning itself with Al-Qaeda since Al-Qaeda is the one that brought, supposedly brought down the uh, two towers in New York City? Now we're going to ally with them against exactly who? Who are we fighting? ISIS? No, can't be that because we made ISIS. We, we invented them, we put them together for the military industrial complex so that they always have a war going. Many people are asking, what is Central Command? Is that just something that will now become normal speak here in the U.S.? I don't see anybody complaining about it. Uh, I know it's been hot, but it's, uh, I don't see a single protest against Central Command. Boy, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? World War II? So many people are asking, why are we pouring so many arms and ammunition and money into the Middle East? Well, that's so obvious because the people that the U.S. vote into office want this so that they can get bribes or what they call campaign contributions during the campaign so that they always get back into office. So the politicians do exactly what the military industrial complex is telling them to do. And uh, this is ridiculous. Why do we keep voting for these people? I will never understand. They just took another poll. I think it was a CNN poll. I'm not, don't, don't hold me to that. But it was uh, about 45% are pro-Democrats and about 38% pro-Republicans. Why? Why in the hell are we even talking about these two worthless, corrupted parties? I don't understand that. We have a Jill Stein running. She's perfectly good. I don't know. Anyway, there was one other item I wanted to talk to you about. So there is some good news that has nothing to do with weaponry. Shell Oil has decided to pull out of the Arctic off of Alaska. They said it's the oil quality is poor and the amount wasn't as rich as they were hoping. So Shell is pulling out for now. That doesn't mean forever. But we can still tell Shell how much we disapprove of their action by not buying their gasoline or any of their products or supporting anything that they 
may fun like a ball game or something if shell oil has a sign up boycott the thing and you don't have to do any there's no need to do anything all you have to do is just boycott it it's very simple no big deal just avoid that you know whenever you see something like that anywhere in the world anybody can partake part partake in this and show the oil companies we're not interested in you drilling in the Arctic or any place else really. We need to convert over to renewable forms of transportation. All right all well I appreciate the last uh, comments on my last video the Pope and the um, ups and the downs and the new subscribers and uh, I'll try again next time to be able to see if I can respond to anybody on the comments section. It's been uh, really flaky lately. I guess they're working on it at stupid to down there in Google to bland. So until next time.